Greetings, greetings, greetings. I have here the I would say the CEO for the Corporation of Jamaica. Yeah, they like to give themselves titles, so he's considered the Prime Minister for the corporate state or the corporation known as Jamaica. And I hear him must say accountability requires identifying the who. People don't be deceived by these words. Is that right? World Health Organization pay these people billions of dollars in order to condition their subjects for the slaughter. This is why they would tell a tech vaccine and you run and take vaccine like the cattle, shuttle that you are. So just listening to this clip, we're gonna just touch base and break it down accordingly. Before the Senate is a bill to create a national civil identification registry. National civil national supposed to be nationwide and civil supposed to be from the Roman civil law. So this is how these I would call them puppets for their masters, their foreign masters. This is how them implement policies here on the island. We have nothing to do with us as a people. Absolutely nothing at all. We have a constitution, so called. We already easier identifying who you are. You use a passport. That's it. And the very constitution said, no organ of the state shall take any action, meaning make no act to abrogate, abridge, or infringe upon the people's fundamental rights and freedoms. And if people now challenge these things from the get-go, then the acquiescence will be, hey, we agree, because we stay silent. We now have a problem and look at these people for who and what they are. And if you're talking about corruption, sir, we can identify you as an individual that is totally and completely corrupt. We can identify your wife in that very same corrupted capacity. And we can identify your whole cabinet. In fact, a man like I can say the whole political system is out of order. The whole political system is corrupt. And when you talk about, you can't say the whole police is, listen, you all are corrupt. The few good that is there, once they stay silent, they consent to the corruption, making them culpable, making them guilty, making them conspirators, whether voluntary or involuntary. You can condemn the whole police force and put it aside and start fresh. They can condemn the very political system that is in place. Put it aside and start fresh. And we can condemn you and your entire family and put you all aside and start fresh. We don't need no new foreign regulation to be implemented here without the people's consent. This is why I am here saying freedom, freedom in and freedom in. And if it's only one voice that is unaffiliated with the foreign construct, then here it is. At the heart of any anti-corruption exercise, any measure to bring transparency, accountability, Integrity is to establish the who. You can't. You have a charter which is contract of fundamental rights and freedom already established, which you people ignore, which you people tossed aside, and trying to implement all these, you just said, 
programs that benefit foreigners. This is why I tell the people, I am a man. I am not a male. A registration form was created and it is plainly expressed that it is a male. And my name is not on that document, period. So you have no authority to talk to the living man. You talk to that piece of paper, which is an artificial fiction, just like your old construct. And to fight corruption by saying everyone is corrupt. You're not going to fight corruption in the police force by saying the police force is corrupt. Why not? Or you have one whole station where corrupt one of it transfer or move every single body and reorganize it. It's the very same thing. People were in other system that is corrupt they know themselves and the people that are not corrupt know the corrupt people it's just that they have this that's a blue wall of silence where them protect each other and it was the same way for the politician this is why there is no opposition it's politics it's a game it's left and right working for a foreign master to enslave and subject the unknown people, the people that is totally unaware of the game that's being played. You are being construed as pieces on a chessboard. And you are always the pawns that are sacrificed. These individuals have no moral integrity because this is the very same individual tell you to take a vaccine that bring hurt, harm, and death to us as a people. This is the very same individual where go in bed with some foreign reptilian type of people, some of those mankind type of people, those lizard looking kind of people like the Bill Gates and that reptilian guy that control who that German non-speaking properly ugly fellow our PM this PM going bed with all of these international foreign demonic people this is why our island nation is like this yeah everybody turn away from God Everybody now believe in a hobia. Yeah, everybody now I tell you, say, boy, you know, a Satan, a boss, and ruler. But them do it subtly by their action, them demonstrate these things. The evil with them perpetrate. We don't believe what you're saying anymore. For your action usually speak much louder than words. But a man like me, non-political, me not have no interest in a none of the policies and the political, you know, mess that is out there. Man just chose to live free. Yeah, man. And function with good faith agreement. Where two people come together and discuss things and settle things and, you know what I mean, dissolve things or, you know what I mean, establish things. Not this fictional papers third party I create a bag of problem in our life because them have some kind of interest in our existence we have to remove these parasitic kind of people from our construct from our lives but that is a free will exercise i choose to do that this guy right here cannot represent me period how can he you understand when I subject myself to the will of these kind of people. You know, I go grow up in a anywhere at all, just like me. Wear pampas, just like me. You know what I mean? Urinate and defecate, just like me. And then all of a sudden, you tell me, say, you're some kind of elite. Because you take blood out and sign all kind of foreign demonic contract for money, selling your souls. And so we fit respect your authority you guys have absolutely no authority 
tell people already the statutory instrument for create this agency is not law. Far removed from it. And then it's foreign. This is why we're prisoners of war. We have a governor general's office as head of state who are subject themselves to a foreign crown. What about we, the people of the most high creator of nature? The man and woman of this earth, not male and female, artificial construct, artificially created. We don't have no interest and we don't believe you and we don't have to use none of your national, civil, nothing at all. We don't want to hear nothing from you because the very constitutional document, Charter of Fundamental Right, dismiss all your actions and make it void. No organ of the state shall pass, no action to abrogate, abridge, or infringe upon the people's fundamental human rights and freedoms. Accountability requires who, who identifying who brings transparency. I can identify the senior sergeant of police, A. Edwards, as the perpetrator who took command and infringed upon my <coughs> inherent dignity as man. And when you identify him, you guys hit him. And then you keep a charade. You don't call it conference, calling it some kind of hearing. It's all a charade. So when we say the police, listen, every man is man and then man choose to work as, you know, some kind of occupational career stance. And then them sign contract and agreement to remove themselves from being a man and become some kind of male or some kind of artificial construct. The moment you're in that capacity, you can't interface or interact with man you can only interface and interact with that piece of paper but if man don't know themselves and identify as that piece of paper then that's how to get away with the mess we are remove the veil from people's face and from people's eye we are share information which bring truth which is light so people can get clarity to see the demonic entities for who and what they are. Don't listen to the words they speak. It's word wizardry. Look at their activities. Look at their actions or their inactions. Look at their commission or omission. The devil is loose in other earth. The synagogue of Satan. A rain, as was predicted, nothing strange. And them are harvest souls. Whatever price you can pay, them are paid. Because them want your souls. Them want you totally removed from the most high creator's light. And stay within this chaotic state. These people can govern themselves. How are they going to govern anything else? They're materialistic to their core. They have sold their souls and then demonstrated with every words that they share out here in the public. But because the public is conditioned a specific kind of way, they'll miss the information That is being shared on a more esoteric level. They'll miss it. So we not believe a word that you're saying. And we not agree to no Roman practice. No pagan practice. No demonic practice. People have to be aware. 
and can identify the demon for what it is. And you are such out there with your actions. You demonstrate that. So if we're not serious about identifying people, then we can't really be saying that we are serious about tackling corruption. You can't prosecute the police force for corruption, but you may prosecute an officer of the police force. You hear that? This is mockery. This is complete mockery. Yeah, no. If the police service commission is aware of the corruption and the police service commission chose not to take positive action to correct those corruption that is pervading the police force, then the police service commission has the head of the organization is corrupt and should be abolished and removed. It's as simple as that. And all of these people could get a different work somewhere where them can get properly screening and psychological evaluation to see if they are, you know what I mean, qualified for the position where they might try hold. Yet eradicate the whole system because it is flawed. Just like how I remove myself from this body politic because I see where it only brings hurt and harm, destruction to I and I people. It's an oppressive system from its very inception, from its very creation, with its statutory instrument which is a sanction. So when people are aware of this thing, then them get carried away by these kind of well-dressed, pampered agents. It's just that when you remove this agent, another agent replace this agent. And it go on and on into perpetuity until you ignore this whole mess and live a quiet, peaceful life away from this craziness. These agents are not here for the people. These agents are only here to secure their corporate interests and use the people as commodity, as cannon fodder, and as the laborers within their whole experiment. So you have to choose to liberate your mind, become autonomous in your thinking. Yeah, man. We are who they call the autochthon. Yeah, we are a autonomous. We sprung from the ground, we want to say it. Listen to my old tapes. A long time we are speak this way. A lot of people just now are catch up. When you look out in a YouTube, people saying all kind of things just now. A few years ago, or 12, or 11, what were they saying? So we give thanks. So we reach this point where much more people can now, you know, ascertain whatever information is necessary and a subject themselves to the will of no politician or no so-called pastor to bring information or no so-called cultural leader to bring information anymore. People can do their own due diligent research and acquire their own truth and live accordingly. Yeah, man. I have no friend in a high society. No, look, none. When you have identified them. We now have no friend in a high society. I will now look for none. Yeah. We just salute the people and we choose to live up full. Yeah. Irrespective of who we are praying to as God. For you choose to do what is up full, what is right. 
then irrespective of who and what you are, you can salute. But for the colonizing oppressors and their oppressive behavior, we now have no tolerance for that. Yeah, we burn their ignorance, uh, it's ignorance where bring forth them kind of behavior there from these agents. Good and bad is everywhere. So let's highlight the good, salute the good, and let's rein in the bad out there. That's all it is. Salute again. As usual, with us share information, shine light, and bring our perspective from our point of view. Exercising our free will and freedom of expression, just like how we have freedom of movement, that these agents are trying to abrogate, abridge, and infringe upon. And then I talk about accountability. You are the corruption totally in all your capacity. Yeah, you are the corruption. Yeah, your political system is that corruption. Fire burn. 